Welcome back, fighters. It is do or die time. Hamilcar Barca against Rebel King. Barca took game number one, and now he's back wanting to seal the deal in game number two. Here is his Rome build. Feel the might of Rome. I think Waffle would approve of this for Equite. Got the Legatus General. Let's, let's take a peek at the melee. No arrows. Probably doesn't need arrows. Opting for Principes. I don't know if Waffle would approve of that. So two Principes on the flank. Looks like his center is some Evocati. Three and four. Probably with two more. Oh, five. So five Evocati, four Principe. Frontline Hastati, three, four, five, and six. And he's got his hands full. He's got Rebel King, who lost in game number one as a Bactria versus Bactria mirror battle. And now it is Rome versus Rome on the blessed sands of the pyramids. The pyramids in the background looking as good as ever. And here is Rebel King's army. He's got some arrow. So he is rocking three Balearic Slingers. Looks like some, uh, can't quite see all the cavalry. Probably gonna have four cav. He's got the legendary cavalry. Oh, he's got a whole mix. Legionary, Auxiliary, and Equite, and probably a fourth right there. But uh, here is his front line, Hastati. Two, three, four, and five with this strong veteran Legionary back line. Four, wait, how many is that? Four, five of them. So right away, Barca. Not, uh, not messing around. He wanted the melee. He wanted the damage. He, he called Waffle before this battle. He said, Waffle. I need your build, your Praetorian. Give me the best Rome build you got. And this is what he uh, concocted. And it is of the gods. Let's speed it up. Probably going to be a little bit of a staring contest. 12 and a half minutes on the clock. Uh, Rebel King, patient as he needs to be. He needs a win to force a game at number three. And uh, historically, if we look at Barca's performance, he does not lose in the playoffs. He is undefeated in the playoffs. This man is a menace. Somebody asked, uh, how many hours does Barca have? Maybe you can answer that in the comment section today. Barca, how many hours you got? You might even have less than the Emperor. I, I am around 2,000, but uh, I am nowhere near the skills of Hamilcar Barca, but uh, you can see he's got a little... Whoa. <laughs> Give me out of that view. He's, he's formed like a little uh, C-shape there. I don't know if you saw that. But uh, he is shifting the army. There it is. See that? Right there, a little bit of a curve. And, uh, I mean, it's a little thing, but being able to do that, uh, to me is, it's, for some reason it just, it escapes me. So it's pretty, uh, it might seem simple, but honestly, you don't see that, really, unless you're playing at the high levels. And that is Hamilcar Barca, our reigning, defending, undisputed, three-time Total War League champion of the world. He's claimed so much money from the Emperor, it's not even funny. Blessed be to him. But, uh, f so the four Equite build for Hamilcar Barca will probably be seeing, you know, like we've talked about before, charge in, get the melee in. That's gonna, that's a little turn the tide of the battle. But, uh, over here, Rebel King, he's got the th uh, three Balearic Slingers. He probably wants to skirm, delay as long as he can. Honestly, I don't know, I don't know how he's gonna use his Slingers once the battle progresses. We'll have to see here, as the pressure will be on another shift taking place as we're the both fighters still feeling each other out still trying to figure out how are they gonna come into battle this time Barca taking a wide flank look at that doesn't want to get shot by the slingers yet I don't I don't blame them you know if you're uh if you're down in one department then uh, make it make it your advantage so he's down in the slinger department so I think Barca's thinking okay if we're gonna go and we commit we we're gonna have to go uh, just just to crush these slingers but uh, last game the difference I believe uh, Barco was going <laughs> he was going nuts with his cavalry did a great job keeping his cav alive wants to do it this time he's got the uh, four equite it's an even match on the equite but uh, you know auxiliary cav I think the legionary cav is the higher tier uh, Roman melee cav and uh, rebel king has brought that today as he's pushed his army back fully this is the greatest staring contest of all time. Seven and a half minutes, and they're still staring. Rebel King wants, he wants gold. He wants a chance in the finals. He wants to put Barca down. And nobody, I tell you, nobody has put him down before in the postseason. So here are the battle layouts 
as they're still staring, still waiting, wanting to strike. The drama immense. If only Parthia were here, this would be a uh, this would be a fitting battle. Got the desert remind you of the the car. Hey, can I can never remember the difference of those two, but uh, praise the gods. Alas, finally, some movement. Looks like Rebel King has been pushed. Uh, well, not, not not fully. There's no red line camping in Total War League, but uh, he's definitely still got you know some space. Maybe like maybe like to there. That's that's pushing it. But uh, looks like this is going to be his his ground to die upon. You can see what he's doing here. Uh, he's got the slingers. Wants his enemy in the open, and uh, looks like Barco will accept as he is marching his troops forward. You don't blame him. You don't blame Rebel King. Gotta find the advantage where you can. You're outnumbered in melee, I think by... Oh gosh. I think I think he's got 15 melee. And then you have 9. Well, you have 10. There's this, there's this uh, vet legionary in the back. So you're outnumbered by 5. And guys, this is, sometimes it comes down to a numbers game. But uh, the thing is here, you know, you, let's just... We'll just speak of the future. Let's say Barca wins this game. What if... I'd like to see a battle where Barca takes uh, Rebel King's army. And then Hammy takes this army. That would be a, that would be pretty cool. Maybe that could be a little bit of a tournament for the Empire. You have to use your enemy's build on the next battle. That would be epic. Praise the gods indeed. I'm just chock full of uh, smart ideas. Five minutes on the clock. Let's speed it back up. We have had ten minutes of nothing. Which is shame. There is our first strike. No kills, just some rocks being flung. So we will be underway here shortly. Rebel King won't be able to run much. Let's see if we can get some baits and switches. Not gonna send that unit back. We'll charge in, but the Equite are in the big eight. No counter charge there. So already Rebel King down. And no ca oh, okay, he gets this one. But anytime you don't get a counter charge, you will be feeling the pain. As this ox cav took 20 deaths. Ooh boy. That's a lot of damage. So how long can this frontline hold? How effective can the slingers be? As here comes a big charge by Hamilcar Barca. He's in. Big hit. <laughs> nice crushing blow. Catching his enemy off guard. No counter charge, no problem from Rebel King. Just a free clean hit on the Vet Legionaries as a Principe. Coming in to give some respite. These three slingers still protected. Keep the battle definitely. Rebel King must protect the Balearic slingers. Going to be key, but you see this left flank already a melee coming in, already a cavalry, and another melee with a cav waiting to boot. He is in the back, striking upon his enemy where it hurts the most in the rear, in the flank. He does have options here. He could go for the slingers, but he's going for the melee. He just wants more melee as our route being hit upon. Sir Rebel King. It's now a cav. Oh, I thought there's another cav there. That is a friendly cav, the Equite. Look at that clean hit from the Prince of Pace and the Ox Cav. Ouch. Not gonna have much going on there. They're soundly defeated. Here comes some reinforcements. Equite trying to do something. These Rome on Rome battles, they uh less less micro, but still plenty of skill. But uh, look at this here. Two untouched Equite. Rebel King's just got one. I, who knows what happened to his third? I, I don't know what happened, but there's an Astati shooting, or should I say, throwing their pillow. So they will retreat. Maybe they can occupy this Equite. Oh, there's his other Equite. Okay. That man was caught in there trying to kill those Vent Legionaries. Or those Principes, but uh, not getting the job done. As it is actually Hamilcar Barkov who's going to have a big hit. Crushing blow. He will take advantage. Two minutes. Time winding down. Still has the slingers. I don't see many wins or any. Should I say any wins for Rebel King and uh oh. And the slingers, no. That's a lot of damage. Bill Swift is loving that. He will have that all day long as again. The cow win for Hamilcar Barca. Paying big dividends. There he goes. He just hit both slingers square and center. And it, as quick he is in, he is out. Right into the melee. Taking care of business he is. 
This looks like it is Barka's day. It is Barka's victory. He will move on for a fourth final. Fourth consecutive 1v1 final. A chance at ultimate honor. A chance at ultimate glory. A chance to be crowned champion once again. But, but, there is a but. More stands in his way. More coming back. He wasn't even in the last season, and now he has reappeared stronger than ever. I cannot wait for that blessed series, as this one is all wrapped up. Big congrats to Lord Hamilcar Barca. I just don't even, the battle just went, everything went his way. And that's what's gonna happen when you have five more melee than your opponent. You're going to have a lot of uh, beauty, a lot of places to pounce. As you saw early in the battle, on this on this flank coming in, it was a, it was two loose melee, just nothing on them. I mean, what can you put on them? And it's not like it's a Celt warrior. It's not like it's a Levy Freeman. This is an Astadi. This is a Principe. What's gonna stop him? An Ox Calf? I don't think so. I don't think so. It's it is finished. The battle done. The damage done. Barca King. Barca the winner moving on great game to rebel king and praise be to rebel king for putting on a show for the empire in this post season guys the finals are coming when i have those there's going to be we're going to go a little bit more in depth for those battles uh some bigger previews some historical stats and uh we'll look at their their season records try to make it a little bit more of a spectacle i am uh, very excited to get into those battles it is official barca versus more in the grand finals that'll be coming up i don't know if they'll be coming up tomorrow i don't sure they haven't played yet at this point uh at this point it's august 16th uh, in the evening for the emperor but uh they will be playing sometime this week and i will be bringing it right to you the last fighters like subscribe comment let's boost the youtube algorithm glory be upon thee and glory to the empire